sold to hogs to harvest and hard water for our pigs. And they done moved on down the line of web, cleaning up the mess they six years and I love Lexington it's a great place to live but it just wasn't home and my leader won't welcome to this mic <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> but, uh, I was moving back and I, I didn't really know where I was going to be moving into uh, our papa had an old farmhouse that was just sitting empty and my parents were like well you can move in with us or you can live there and I was like I sure as hell ain't living with you guys I did it for 18 years. It was it was fun. I'll, I'll come visit you for dinner. But uh, no, uh, I moved in there, and the the house belonged to a pretty remarkable man. His name was Dewey Fee. He was a uh, ran a cattle farm for about 50 years. He was a bootleg vegetarian. 
He uh, was a very revered member of the community, and he was also a World War II veteran. And he fought on the beaches of Normandy on D-Day. He was on the first wave of boats, and out of about 30 or 35 men, he was the only one that survived. He was a medic. He was in the back, and he had to watch all his buddies get, get shot off the boat. And he hid out on the beach for about three days and went on to fight at the Battle of the Bulge, somehow made it through all of that, and uh, came back to Virginia where he was living. He married his sweetheart, Hazel, and they moved over to Kentucky and continued a, a family line that are very important people to me. And uh, I wouldn't know them if it wasn't for him, so I say thank you to that. So I wanted to write him a song. It's called Virginia. Home again. 
Send a letter to my darling back for me in the Cumberlands. Well, these bastards about to sleep. Oh, that they can't kill a fee. Send my body to Virginia if I die here on this beach. Send my body to Virginia if I die on this beach.